Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jurassic Productions here once again with another video on Terminator Resistance. Now the last time we left off, Colin went after a strange man in this here factory. And honestly, I was saying it before, he did not give me good vibes, I wouldn't really care if he died even though I know what's going to happen in the next few minutes. Uh, just to not spoil things for you, but I'm just saying, even if you do know what's going on, uh, Colin is just being really dumb right now, and this place is really freaking dark. Alright, so let's continue moving on. If you look to the left, there should be, yep, some good stuff. Let's continue. Oh. Hello there, Mr. Fabric. To me, call it. I told you. I told you something bad would happen. You do not follow. Did nobody ever teach Colin about stranger danger? Like honestly, uh, before we go any further, let me just upgrade some of these skill points. Just upgrade the weapons just a little bit. Maybe do lock picking as well, and fast learning. Yeah, let's just do both of them. God damn it! Uh Colin. You absolutely dumb mother pus bucket. Uh but at least thank you for the ammo though. I'm just gonna drop that. Kinda unceremoniously, because honestly. Hello, buddy. Ooh. Someone Rick grimed his butt. Oh, hello there. Would you like to talk about your lord and savior, Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah, it's a piece of rebar through that. That is a tough way to Jacob go. Jacob Rivers, marked for termination. Uh, yeah. Can you not uh come near me? Oh my! Oh my God! It's Optimus Prime. Thank you, Mr. Autobot. I guess my dude just didn't want to know about Mark Zuckerberg, dude. <laughs> Are you alright? Jacob? So this right here... Jacob! Is the guy from the radio. And, uh... He's the one who was talking to us at first, trying to get us through. He's the one who gave us that very crappy pistol. Um, honestly, dude... Dude's got a... T dude's got a horrible choice. Of, we of weaponry. You know what I mean? Dude's just got a bad... Bad idea, you know? You couldn't have at least given me like one of the plasma weapons or something? Like dang. Back to the hideout. Hours later they found me lying in front of our hideout. I made it out alive. But not all of us did. Colin's dead. And the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. See, dude, that's actually kind of smart, sticking together. I mean, there's not really much else you can do. You got the Annihilation line coming. We, we... Jacob? Oh. Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Duck 2.0 from not the Walking Dead long. game speaking now. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so oh, yes, I went on my first hospital. scavenging run. And I found something for oh. you. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. One bullet. Did you go with your sister? Wow, no. Patrick. You you as soon as you heard that you, there's a hospital you nearby, really he suck, asked don't you? To go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and Ryan wanted to talk to you. Who runs away like that after just saying something helpful? 
Heat from that plasma rifle cauterized the wound. Excuse me. That's why he's not bleeding. But one bullet. To the skin the one to single bullet, Patrick. I... That is definitely a threat. That is definitely a freaking threat. You know that? Wow. You're really smart. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Dude. Honestly, I freaking feel that, you know, if if even if Judgment Day and then and Russian said, "Let's dr let's drop the nuke boys on us," you know, I'd only be happy because no more college, you know. Trying to get that degree, it's Morning. expensive. Patrick came to me earlier asking if I thought you'd like his present. I don't. It's scary. When I saw that it was a single bullet. I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. See? Even she agrees with me. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. Oh? Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, ask her about that camp. Uh, Why not? About that camp? What do you want to know? Well, uh... How did the machines communicate? Because besides these infiltrators, like the Terminators with skin on them, like your Ar Arnie bots or, you know, stuff like that, I don't ever think... Ugh! Oh, excuse me. I don't believe the machines ever were able to speak in their endoskeleton form. So that'd actually be really interesting. How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. Almost? It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. Oh, so she was At the end of every robo week, leather face, took okay. The weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. Oh, uh, well, what was the plan? What was your plan? I figured our best chance of getting out was with the bodies. That way, hypothermia was the only thing we had to worry about. The baby Pretty came smart, early, Aaron. and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. Mm. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Uh, were you still... Well, did they go after her? Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Dang, okay. Uh, I will leave you alone then. Uh, hi. Oh, this is the... Hey, you're off again? Yep. I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Alright, awesome. Uh, let's see, should I... I should probably go ahead and trade all of my... Ocal stuff. Should I craft something? Let's see. I cannot exactly craft anything right now. Let me just... Maybe... Uh, there we go. Now if I go on the crafting table, you can now make plasma cells. Now these are the red plasma cells, which is the first generation of... Skynet uh, weaponry, right? Um, and I don't believe there was actually a time when a lot of people were giving this game crap because there wasn't purple lasers, which is kind of honestly kind of stupid, even though purple lasers are kind of seen more in the first two films, you know what I mean? So the red lasers, those are like your first generation, but then if you take a look over here, there's your purple lasers, guys. Uh, and that's for the second generation. So they do kind of have like an in-universe like explanation, which I think is always, always kind of cool. Uh, should I make another pipe bomb or some more shotgun shells? 
You know what, screw it. Uh, let me make at least 20 more, I have a feeling. Because we are about to go to the hospital, and that is my favorite part of this okay. game, admittedly. Now sit. Uh, compared All to... Over. Fetch! We've got a lot to learn. Compared to, like, the final battle or whatever, like, the final boss or whatever, the hospital is practically my favorite part. And I'm sorry for yawning so much. I basically just woke up this afternoon uh, wanting to die, so... Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Uh, no now, problem, dude. What should I call him? Uh, what about Max? How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. Hey, also Terminator 2 reference for people who actually care. Alright. Now if we go over here, because I upgraded my lock picking, I can now... If I can't... If I can... There we go. There is actually a good load of stuff in here. See you later. I know I promised to stay awake, but I'm getting tired. Wake me up when you get back from the hospital. I'm just going to close my eyes for a moment. I'm guessing this is the guy who wrote the note. So I guess he just did not uh, last too long. Let's see. Anything worthy in here? Yes. Medkit 2. Okay, let's just unlock... And I do know there's another door somewhere. If I'm not wrong, it should be up there. Yes. So, let me just go in there for a second. There we go. Easy peasy. Medium caliber, am caliber ammo. A few more pipe grenades. Some explosive material. Am I missing anything else? There's some energy cells over there. Anything else? Ooh, some Kigaletes, some Marlboros. Always a good choice. Uh, am I missing anything? Ooh, metal scraps I did not see last time I was in here. Alright, let's go and talk to my guy Ryan over here. What's going on? You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Oh, no problem. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, What about Judgment Day? Because this dude's, not to say anything, but he's kind of older, so he's probably been around since you Judgment, Judgment Day in the 90s. I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. Oh, uh, so... Band? <laughs> Where was it? Tucker always dragged me to these events, uh, driving a hundred miles to the middle of nowhere just to jump around with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Wasn't really my thing. Who would have known that it would have saved my life, though? Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a better view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. So that was the atom bombs away? that's kind of basically no sent to our own soil. Lit up the sky, soil. lighting every peak and ridge in the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. Tower we were clinging on to started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Now, oh, what am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was 
captured by robots. Hey, that's actually that's actually a good choice. Your brother actually has good taste, my good sir. So I guess we have to go on to the hospital. Now, like I said, the hospital is just my favorite part because I'm always a sucker for atmosphere. I'm a sucker for horror. I'm a sucker for suspense. And basically, right now we do not have any plasma weapons. So if we ever came across a regular T-800, we'd be boned. We'd be screwed. We'd be uh, picked up by our butts and then... Well, you know what? I'm not going to continue saying that because YouTube would probably hate me for their entire, um, for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? So, um, so we don't have any plasma weapons. We only have that Remington shotgun and the M16, uh, rifle, which does jack and crap to the T-800s and Jack left town. Commander Baron gave an order to attack a Skynet research facility located in an old university hospital. If they managed to liberate the hospital, her soldiers could still be there, but that's a big if. So now, because of the fact that we have to, uh, that we have barely any good weaponry, we actually have to sneak around the hospital, and it is, uh, chef's kiss. Now I'm gonna go around and loot some of this stuff, so I will be right back in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. Sorry for the weird cut, and we are back. Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Uh, you know what? Here's an idea. How about we don't go to the noises? Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Well, I mean, I can do that too, but like, go off, I guess. Weird flex, but okay. Oh, jeez. Looks like a silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Pretty much, bro. Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Sure. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. Then what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some cheap, we would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Thanks, Jenny. All right. Right now, you need to start answering. Right now, you need to wait a second, Jacob. I need to lockpick myself into this uh, room and not destroy all the lockpicks that questions. I have. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you, and it couldn't have been you. Hello. Ooh, here we go. Can I please jump on top of this? Ooh, hello. So this is the silverfish. Basically, they're kind of like the silverfish from Minecraft, so... Very quick and easy to kill, but if they swarm you, they are absolutely annoying. So we got 81 shells, dude. We got a lot. <clears throat> All right, let's continue on. All right, we got a few more. Mm. 
Just gonna wait. Ba ba boom, baby. Boom, once again, and I only missed twice. Okay, that is more than I'd actually, uh, more than I'd actually like, and I don't want to use sound decoys yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? That was kind of a bad idea on my part. Yeah, having a thing blow up literally in your face is not exactly the best thing in the world, I guess. So that's basically what they do. They come up to you and practically explode in your face, much like a guy... Uh, I'm not, I'm, you know what, never mind, I'm not going to make that joke either. So we got some more sound decoys, awesome. So I may actually be able to use more. I'm going to get myself just a couple more lockpicks, just to be just to be safe. Maybe some more plasma cells. Uh, I don't need any more shotgun shells, but I would like some more... Uh, I would like some more... A pipe grenades just to be safe. I want to be stacked whenever I go into this hospital. We got a couple of wine bottles in here. Not really much of anything else in worth. Anything in here? Just some fabric? Ooh, we got some good stuff in here. Alright. Now that that's out of the way. Oh, and I for almost forgot my friggin' hacking device too. I'm gonna need this to get all the all my V bucks. This is it. Yeah, if I'm if I'm gonna try to get the Deadpool skin on Fortnite, dude, I'm I'm gonna need that hacking device. You know what I mean? Okay, so what the sound decoys can do, I'll just change that out. I may want to sneak away. Did I forget to take the friggin' sound decoys off my uh, off my dude back there? Hold on. I'm gonna go back. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a stupid gamer moment right here. Is gonna move on back. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Yep, I actually forgot to get the friggin' sound decoys. That's on me. Sorry, guys. Because that's probably going to be really useful whenever I'm going to go into this hospital here. Because silverfish are lining the streets right now. There's three right here. So, offensive item, that means I have to throw it using RB. Hopefully all three come. Yeah, all three are coming. That's a lot of noises. God, that's more annoying than the friggin' iPhone alarm noise. Ooh, we got some... We got some Spidey Boys over here.
I want to get up and surprise him, dude. Hey. Stop slipping. Oh my god, it's like playing Ring Around the Rosie with this friggin' guy. Come on, walk over there. Hold on, let me try something. Well, oh, we're exposed. Well, shoot. This is not exactly how I wanted it to go. Let me just throw one over there. Ha! Stupid, you think I'm just gonna let you get the chance? Alright, now that that's over with and I pretty much wasted all my friggin uh I wasted a couple of sound decoys see this right here this is what you really want them for this right there oh come on I didn't get that one, one guy that's annoying hey dude come over here yeah you see me come after me come at me bro idiot Oh, you were just one stupid bot, aren't you? Alright, so we are going into the hospital. I believe this is the parking garage. How many shells do I have? 66. I wasted like tw 20 shells. Just trying to get in here. Okay, so there are, are some turrets in here, and they will mess your life up. control those turrets with the hacking device. Hacking. To hack Skynet devices, you have to move your icon to the right side of the screen while avoiding firewall. So basically, hacking is basically Frogger, I guess. But you know, I, I can't complain. A good game of Frogger always cheers me up. Especially when hacking, or playing Frogger I mean, means that I can take control of a giant plasma turret. You know? Always fun. I don't know. Okay. And voila. Easy money. Ooh, this, that guy sounding like he's getting the business. Poor dude. Cool. I'm gonna wait until that guy looks over there. All right. Your eyes are getting sleepy. And with a snap of a finger, you shall now answer to my commands. You see that buddy over there? Yeah, take care of him for me, will ya? It is Battle of the Gods. Uh, turret versus turret, who will win? Turret number two definitely loses. What do we got? We got plasma cells? Nope, just metal scrap, uh, energy cells, and electric parts. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine because there's always more. Now, I'm gonna destroy this armor spider before. Well, that was kind of easy. 
Just gonna, can I? There we go. Now, how in the world? Oh. That dude is quick on the draw. Ain't he? You speed Gonzalez as a turn, aren't you? Keep moving. Yeah, that's right. Alright, and let's hack you right here. Right up the brown booty. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I This is what happens when I'm tired, guys. I just start saying random crap. Battle, battle be battle. <laughs> yeah, you might want to give up, dude. I have a weapon here to surpass Metal Gear, dude. <laughs> Alright. Can you stop sneaking for a second, Rivers? Alright. So I believe this is it right here. We are now officially in hospital territory. And it is already not looking too good. That dude's sounding like he's not really having too much of a good time. You know, I don't blame him though. He's probably getting a, he's probably getting goat seed by a couple terminators at this very moment. Dear Maria, this might be my last letter to you. Until recently, the machines have tried to keep us alive. They were treating us like some sort of test subjects. We were valuable to them. But all they've been doing lately is exterminating entire cages. I don't know why, but it's like we're no longer of any use to them. Like they found what they've been looking for, and now they're coming. Ugh. So basically, these machines are basically doing what... Uh, not to like make light of anything but these terminators are basically doing some holocaust type crap that's insane like uh, you have entire cages being exterminated oh this dude this dude sounds so we can't go that way I guess we have yeah Oh, 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 oh. oh, that noise. Screw all of that noise. Oh! It's from the resistance. Here we go. The others have to be here too. And here we have a Robert Patrick cameo. These these dudes practically spl gutted this guy. But apparently this is Robert Patrick from Terminator 2. So whenever Skynet made the T-1000, Th that was basically who were they were, who they were basing the uh, bot off of. And then in here is some meds for Aaron. Come on, open up, please. I swear. This is an easy lock. Why is it? There we go. Friggin' finally. Oh, the music's playing. Antibiotics. So there's meds for Aaron taken care of. Oh. We have a Terminator coming. Just gotta sneak. And here, like I said, this is my favorite part. You have these Terminators just crawling all over the friggin' place. And the music's going, and it's just oh, so, so amazing. All right, go, go, sneak, sneak. And there's a guy right there. Well, there's one right there. Okay. So if you go up against here, no one should see you or hear you. 
but if they do, I do have a shoddy, so at the very least it would knock them down, if anything. So I guess I have to go in this vent here. Do you hear that? Ooh, friendos. He's one of us. What's going on, dude? Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. All of my friends got was wiped out. Yeah, there, I'm the only one who there's, survived, there's, and there's I need to meet with that. Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals. Thank you very much, dude. Alright. No, I don't have to go in the fence. Uh, let's see. Two med kits. Up the stairs, I'd say. Oh, here we go. And they're all leading there. So that's where the little generator is for all of this going on. Let's let's frogger our way in here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get in the vent here. Try to get as close to this turn as possible. Gonna let this dude do his thing. Thank goodness the uh, turns don't ever m hear noise. It's all it's only like your actual like sentient I guess terminators that hear noise. The turrets they don't hear a thing. Alright, this dude over here should be coming over anytime soon, right into my trap. Oh, he notices something's wrong. There we go. 60 experience from that too. Oh. My dude doing a little jig. Yeah, keep on going. Shake what, shake what Skynet gave to you, I guess. Okay, now you're just freaking me out. Huh? Okay, get on the down low. Oh. Made it just in case. Just in time. I don't know why I'm saying just in case. Like I said, dude, I am tired. Alright, now that that's taken care of. Let's hack this generator over here. And, mix, and make an explosion evil, even uh, Michael Bay would be proud of. we go. Now let's just take cover in this vent here. Because it's going to be a big boom. But let's still watch it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we already have some boys coming in. Alright, just keep a watch on these guys. There we go. So there's some more red plasma cells. Let me check. I do, yes, I do have the plasma thing. Skills. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for a little bit. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here. I'm on my way out. Good job. I can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. 
Oh, because of course. Of course they are. I mean, I just I just blew up one of their friggin' outposts. Of course they would be looking for me. T-800 patrol coming your way. Get some cover. T-800. Oh, my goodness. That is a lot. I'm just gonna wait this out until all of them just make their way. Just gonna chill and see how many. We got uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. And then we got. We got more coming our way. Oh, we got aerials. Oh, yeah, we got a whole bunch more coming. Just gonna let them pass through. Like I said, if I have to shoot one of these guys with my shotty to knock them down, I will. And then I'm just gonna make a run for it. Dude, you're just gonna bump into your friend? That's kind of rude, ain't it? Like I said, this is honestly really freaky, and I'm so glad that a Terminator game like this was made. Oh shoot. That guy heard me? Okay, that is my cue. Alright, let's head out of here. And there you go, that was the hospital level. Without dying once, actually, and I'm honestly surprised. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, like I said, that's the hospital mi uh, mission, and that is honestly my favorite level. Like I said, I'm I'm sorry if I'm sounding like a broken record, but honestly, I, I really love it just because it does bring back that original Terminator vibe for some reason. Just having to sneak around because you do not have good enough weapons to fight against this thing. Alright, and we're back at the hideout. Talk to Jennifer. What's going on, Jen? Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? Nope. I like that. Aw. Thanks. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. Aww. Uh, does she need help with anything? Do you need anything? help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. Uh, well, seems like you two were very seems close. Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. No, that that was actually really clever. Very clever. Yeah. Always so bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns. So the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Well, I mean, you know what? If there was any sort of Terminator movie that didn't deal with the Resistance, 
I could probably watch or play something like that. Like you're just a scavenger. You're not part of TechCom. You're not part of the resistance. You're not even a Terminator. You're just a scavenger, literally just trying to survive. I would actually really like that. Um, Seems like he helped a lot of people. Yeah. He did. What he said. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. <sighs> I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Uh, was he... Sounds like a champion of dad jokes. He may have coined the term. I was begging for him not to find a whoopee cushion on a scavenger hunt. He'd literally get a heart attack from the excitement. I would too. Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. No, it's fine. Honestly, though. Let's see. Let's talk to Erin down here. She's down here, ain't she? Yep. Hey, Erin. No need to worry. I'm fine. Who said I was worried? Jennifer. I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. Ooh, we're getting some I'll new more members in the crew. Here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at. Well, I mean, Aaron, if it does help, um, I'm literally a soldier, so like, morbid things, I run into them every day. Now let's see, do I have anything, of, anything I need to get rid of in here? I don't know, but I do know that my... I do know I probably need to get rid of a few things. Let's see. Let's see, I should probably make some more med kits. And then maybe some more plasma cells. And then make four more lockpicks just to just to add an extra uh cushion, I guess. Should I get rid I should probably get rid of the sound decoy. I'm probably not gonna be needing that for a while. Because usually it's probably just easier to just shoot at the silverfish. I'm just going to be honest with you. Alright, let's rest. Few days later. Jacob, come upstairs. There's someone here to see you. Oh, I'm coming, Ryan. I'm coming. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's one of these guys. Private Rivers. Yes, sir. I've got a message from South Division's Field Commander Baron. She's agreed to meet with you. She set up a rendezvous point at the unfinished metro station. Ooh, You'll need to enter go. the canal system under the bridge. The meeting's supposed to take place tomorrow, so I suggest moving out soon. Understood. And All right. Rivers, because of what you did for our guys at that hospital, I'll give you a heads up about Commander Baron. Don't expect a warm welcome. Looks like you're leaving us soon. Aaron wants to join me. What about you? What do you think about enlisting? Me? <laughs> no. I still have hope I'll get that bus running again. Also, I don't like the attention Skynet's given you guys. I'd rather stay as far from the line of fire as possible. Patrick, get back here! Oh. You better go see what's going on. Here we go. Now, I think besides the fact that easy mode is kind of a joke in this game, one thing I'll also complain in this game is that I don't know what happened with the sound mixing, but there are some points where either uh, sound effects are like too low in volume or voices just sound like they're like they're peaking the microphone like this, like this uh, next scene with uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, you'll hear her friggin peek in the microphone what's going on is Jen? everything all right 
Patrick's decided that he wants to be a scavenger. Yeah, do you hear and that? Now he won't come out, even though I'm worried sick he'll get stuck. Get back here right now, Patrick! But there's lots of cool stuff in here. You told me it's our job to find stuff for the group. Uh, let's see. See what's in there. There's probably something useful. Hey, Patrick, what do you see? Maybe there's something valuable there. I think I see something. Wait, I'll go deeper. No! Get back here right now! Jeez, Jacob! There you Patrick! go. Patrick! I'm alright. I'm alright. I've got something. Like I said, and I'm sure it isn't uh, on fault of the Check voice actors or anything. Check out this book I found. Good job, Patrick. It's a military training manual. Oh, here That's we go. That's a lot, Rivers. What was that all about just now? I've got a meeting with Commander Baron. I'm leaving soon. Okay. I'm going with you. And don't even try to stop me. Alright. Are you sure? What's the matter? Don't they let you boys bring dates? Eh. Funny. Funny. Funny dad joke. Alright. Let's pick this skill book up. Let's see. What should I use it on? That's what I would like to know. Let's see. Don't worry, kid. She's just worried about you. But she never lets me do anything. That's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, kid. But that's. I mean, your sister probably knows a thing Your or two. I'm just saying. Do. They look out for us. Was your brother like that too? Well, not really. No, poor Ryan. All right, Jen, let's go meet Commander Baron. Field Commander Baron agreed to meet with me at the unfinished metro station. I will finally get to deliver her the message about the existence of a new threat, a half-man, half-machine being created by Skynet. The question is, will she believe me? She better. She better. Looks like we got here first. Is everything all right? You seem a little out of it. <sighs> Sorry. I probably shouldn't zone out like that with a gun in my hands, huh? Am I making you nervous? Yeah, don't be don't be handling guns when you're nervous because that's that's not always a good sign. Yeah, a little bit. I guess you should be. I don't have any formal training like you. I never even held a gun until recently. Can I be honest with you? Sure. Sure. There's a reason I decided to come here with you. I want to meet Commander Baron myself. They're here. When I heard that Private Rivers of the non-existent Pacific Division wants, no, needs to have a meeting with here me, she I thought, comes. oh, what a lucky girl I am. But then I started thinking, who is Private Rivers? And why should I treat him as anything other than the deserter he is? Oh. So right now I'm hoping you give me a good reason why I shouldn't just skip the court-martial and execute you where you stand. This is bullshit. And who do we have here? A brave scavenger? Rivers, do you always bring unauthorized civilians to fight your battles for you? We would have got to you sooner if you hadn't pulled out all your troops from Pasadena. People died there because of you! There's more audio and peaking, I guess. It? Did you pick up a gun and fight back? Or did you run like you sewer rats always do? Oh boy. So I guess uh, Commander Baron wants to friggin' kill me because I helped her guys out. You know, what kind of friggin' logic is that? Uh, Jennifer's, Jennifer's right, right, though. There's no need for any of that. Yeah. Today is all about private rivers. So what can you tell me that I don't know already? A few weeks ago, the outpost I was stationed at was ambushed by a Terminator, I think. It was half man, half machine. The entire Pacific Division was wiped out by a single enemy. Half man, half machine? What are you talking about? How did your men let an enemy get that close to you? And we didn't know it was a machine. It could walk, talk, bleed, sweat. There was no way to distinguish it as an enemy. It infiltrated us perfectly. This infiltrator, is it still alive? I I'm not sure. Okay, for now keep everything to yourself. I don't want any rumors, especially since you only think you saw something. Skynet's coming! 
We're not done here yet, Rivers. Oh Take this plasma. Ooh. You're a resistance soldier. Time to act like one. To your positions! Troop! Right. Up there! Let's do this. The first plasma battle in the game. I think wow. I got one. That actually kind of hurts. More will come. We need to move. Yeah, excuse me for a second. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get some stuff here. Okay, we're good. Wait, never mind. Now we're good. Get that door open. What the fuck? Fall back. Fall back. Eyes on that door! Terminator! Are any of you gonna shoot back? At least? Go clear! Oh no it's not! Ariel! Go! 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 Well, at least I got some plasma out of that too. And that was close. Oh fuck! More metals! Up there! On that balcony! Just gonna crawl over here. Get some ammo. Come over here, get some ammo. There's some ammo right up there. Oh, hello. There's a lot of you boys up there. Neutralized. Shoot those gas canisters. More drones. You with that AK. Take care of them. On it. Yeah, Jennifer, just take a page out of me. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now let's keep on the moving. Let's go! You can be sure there's gonna be more! Armored spider ahead! Don't let it get near you! More Terminators! How many? I count three! We're incoming! Keep your position! And that did nothing. It almost feels like the friggin' plasma weapons have as much power as the ballistics. Or maybe that's just me. Let's keep moving! Almost there! Hey, I'm stuck on a friggin' crate, okay. Got grenades? Mm -hmm. Fucking throw them!
Wait a second, boys. Just wait a second. I'm just grabbing some ammo back here. Ooh, we, I got a can grenade? Shoot, I'll take that. I like how everyone's just like, keep on moving, keep on moving, even while I'm just back here like, wait a friggin' second. Let me get my friggin' um, chips. Let me get my loot. Thank you, everybody, for waiting up for me. This was an ambush! They knew we were coming! How did they know? With the Annihilation Line getting closer, they must have eavesdropped on our conversation. We're on their radar now. God damn it! They were waiting for us! We're surrounded! Take positions! I got this! Leaving already? There's too many of them! Hold it! Through here! Come on! Follow her! Come on, come on. Don't get stuck on anything now. Okay. We're good. Watch out! Take oh, cover! Oh, crap. No! Oh! Oh, uh, we, we just lost him. one. He's dead. You want to help someone? Help yourself and take his rifle. All right, we're in the home stretch, boys. More of them up here. Stay low. Don't stop shooting. an armor spider. Gotta move really quickly over here. Really close. Hey, armor spider. Alright. Let's move. Get inside. Just keep on hurrying up. Oh, shoot. This is the... This is the outpost we were at when in the, the last episode, hits, actually. We couldn't hold our positions. We would be dead if we stayed. Is that what happened in Pasadena? Exactly. Alright. Let's keep There's on moving, There's a shortcut folks. that'll get us out of here. We just have to make our way to that industrial building. As soon as that aerial moves, we run. Alright, it's moving. Let's go, Baron. It's clear. Go! All right, how much longer do we have? Because I, my legs are about turned into jelly at this point. I'm just saying. Oh shoot. Well, that was painful. That was painful. Come on. Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh, we just lost both of our guys. That quick. Yeah, I'm okay. Besides a few broken ribs and maybe head. my pelvis bone, or worse, I'm fine. Jacob, get up! Oh shoot! You. We'll cover you. Get out! Please here. do. Oh shoot! Don't light me on fire, you friggin' spider thing. God, you're okay! Save that for later. We're not safe yet. We need to get the hell out of here. Where to? The shelter! Oh, weapon infected. Of course it is. Well then, so much for that. Alright, let's keep on moving.
Oh, well, that was certainly an action sequence and a half. Resistance shelter. So, fun fact, this is the same resistance shelter we see in the first film. Where uh, Kyle Reese has this little flashback about the infiltrator coming in. So, if you take a look and like, throughout the entire building, you'll see that they literally mapped it out from as much as you could tell from the movie and it's it's amazing <laughs> I was able to deliver my message to Commander Baron but Skynet was waiting for us with the annihilation line approaching we no longer had the luxury of moving undetected we had no other option but to run to the resistance shelter I'm uh, I'm sorry about before and I'm sorry about your soldiers no need for that You'll have a hard time getting up every morning if you dwell on that too much. Machines don't do that, and if we want to destroy them, neither can we. See, like... Rivers, since Pacific Division no longer exists, you will now answer to me. That makes you a part of Techcom. Congratulations. No more sitting around waiting for Skynet to come to you. Over here, we go out there and meet the enemy face on. So like if you watch the first movie and watch that flashback this scene, Resistance all of this is, South Division. All of this is so accurate. Baron, it's almost DM unreal. Three eight two one seven. Commander. There with me. Got the little doom buggy. Where are the others? The cardboard box. Where's my husband? They're dead. The TV with the fire over there. Like, everything's just over so Over here's our accurate. quartermaster. It's ridiculous. If you need anything beyond the standard issue equipment, work it out with him. And here's Alvin, residing chief Egghead. Hey, uh, Alvin. I prefer laboratory director. Like I said, Egghead. He supplies well, all tech comm units with weapon weird. modifications. Everything looks well organized. It is. Everyone pulls their weight here. If someone doesn't, we become weak. And you can probably imagine where I stand on being weak. I'll get right to it. There's a reason I decided to meet you. Mm -hmm. And what's that? We intercepted some interesting data. It turns out you're part of a prestigious group. A group of people that Skynet marked for termination. Is that so? See, John Connor, the leader of the Resistance, is number one on that list. Then, there's me. I know, I'm flattered. Every day, we lead, we fight, and we plan on how to destroy Skynet's central core. So I know exactly why we're on that fucking list. But why would Private Rivers be number three? That infiltrator said something about me being marked for termination. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to have a word with Connor about that. And that brings me to my second point, your first assignment. After the Annihilation Line got to Pasadena, Skynet started building installations there. I want you to go there and collect some intel, so we know what we're up against. Sounds dangerous. It will be. Check with Alvin before you go, he'll have something for you. Remember, you might be valuable to Skynet, but the way I see it, you're still a private. Dismissed. And Rivers! Civilians don't need to know about what happened out there. Yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. I'll teach you. You'll learn. You're going back to Pasadena? Can't imagine what it's like there now. Yeah. Alright, so let's go and meet Alvin. What's going on, hey, Resident Egghead? He's a long way from home. Yeah, I hear you I have am. something for me. I do. Commander Baron wanted me to show you how to customize your weapons. Something I've been working on for some time now. You see, your standard phased plasma is in a 40 watt range. However, you can upgrade its damage, shooting rate, or stability using decoded chips. The same ones you've been collecting from fallen terminators. You can do the upgrades yourself. When you're done, go to the quartermaster. I believe he has something for you as well. All right. So weapon upgrade. So basically, uh, select the plasma weapon to upgrade. Select the upgrade button. 
Close the circuit by matching three chips in the slots. Each chip ending must match its adjacent chip from both sides. Alright, so... Uh, let me just go over to weapons. So now, instead of having to own this, I can own... Uh, I can use... This guy right here. The very iconic uh, Skynet Plasma. So we're just going to... Hold on. Let's just upgrade this as much as we can, damage-wise. Um, let's see. Now, is there any ending? Hold on. Remove chip. Is there not a... Well, so much for that. So I guess what we're going to have to do is do some... Oh, never mind. Uh, shoot. Um, okay, this, is, this might take a while. So excuse me while I try to figure this out. All right, so we got ourselves a upgraded weapon. I would talk to Alvin. Let's talk to this guy, the quartermaster. Ooh, you're a bulky boy, aren't you? What you got for me? I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? I've been told you're using old goggles from the Pacific Division. Those aren't even standard issue anymore. Commander Baron asked me to hook you up with the latest version. These babies come equipped with a high-quality camera. What do I do with them? The idea is that when you reach Pasadena, you'll take pictures of Skynet's offensive installations. When you find them, put the goggles on, then aim and shoot. The pictures will be automatically sent to a military satellite that we hijacked from Skynet. They'll give us the necessary intel to prepare for when the Annihilation Line comes. Misspelled Annihilation, That's but... That's it. That's it. We have a place ready for you here when you come back. Before you leave, take a look and see if there's anything else you need. I can get my hands on almost anything, but I don't normally hand out freebies. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's just get rid of this crappy uh, rifle here. Get rid of the sticky bomb too, because I don't exactly need that. I'm not getting rid of my shoddy though. I am just not doing that yet. Um, let's see. Is there anything I can sell right now? I probably don't need that many uh, that many med kits, do I? I'm just gonna like sell five off, and then then maybe sell six of these pipe grenades because I just don't need as many either. I will, however, get rid of my M16. So that way, all I have is the shoddy and this awesome weapon. Get rid of the small caliber ammo, and I really have a lot of room, honestly. Maybe just get rid of the lockpicks as well. Alright, let's see. Oh, what you got for me, That's Jennifer? It, then. You're leaving us and going back to Pasadena? Yep. Not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. Fine by me. Let's go. Alrighty. Oh, it's you. Please, you need to tell me what happened there. Where's my husband? I'm not gonna be a jerk and just say, "Oh, nothing, nothing happened. He just disappeared." You know, something like that. I'm, I'm gonna tell her the we truth. We were ambushed on our way out of the metro station. There was nothing we could do he died protecting us I'm sorry oh my god 
Thank you for telling me this. I hate that. You did good by telling her. I don't care what Baron says. That woman deserved to hear the truth. Not knowing would destroy her. Believe me, Aaron would kill to know what happened to her husband. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's take a look at skills here because right now, I feel like I definitely need to go ahead and finish lock picking. Uh, do all the hacking. And I have one more. I'm just gonna... Um... Probably gonna do stealth. So, that way... Explosives, I may have to try to... Uh, shoot, I sh probably should have gotten explosives, shouldn't I? Because I do know, I think I'm going to encounter, have to encounter, like, uh, laser traps whenever I go back to Pasadena for, like, a side mission. So, anyways, we are now, I think I'm just going to end it there. Uh, today was kind of a very eventful episode. It was kind of a long one, I'm sure. The video is probably going to run super duper freaking long, like, longer than it needs to be. Let me just step away from Jennifer so I ain't so close to her. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our hideout, get some things, and I'm sure uh, we're probably gonna start moving in here. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to live in a beautiful place where, you know, you have barrel oil drums full of crap and wood, and your entertainment is the campfire channel you know what I mean who wouldn't want to live in a place like this you know what I mean I mean and honestly I I never got this how in the world did they even get this thing down here like honestly though you know I ain't gonna question that uh, again it is the end of the episode I'm just gonna leave it off here I hope you guys enjoyed um, hopefully I'll be back next episode uh, soon. I'm also going to be continuing to work on college to continue get my uh, little degree. You know what I mean? Continue trying to get good grades, trying to make sure I'm spending my money where where it's worth. You know what I mean? And uh, maybe try to make some other videos while I'm at it. So until then, this is Jurassic Productions signing off, and I'll see you next time. Okay, and cut.